How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words, and yet I'm one of the lucky ones. People are suffering, people are dying, entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. The popular idea of cutting our emissions in half in 10 years only gives us a 50% chance of staying below 1.5 degrees and the risk of setting off irreversible chain reactions beyond human control. 50% may be acceptable to you, but those numbers do not include tipping points, most feedback loops, additional warming hidden by toxic air pollution or the aspects of equity and climate justice. They also rely on my generation sucking hundreds of billions of tons of your CO2 out of the air with technologies that barely exist. Tayo ma'am, we are told to comply, but the industrial countries does that. We only contribute 0 0.00 something to the food, carbon footprint in this planet. Sila hindi ang bang, sila ang ayaw eh. Tayo, the bamboozle us to obey. It's not fair. I'm not saying that coal is right, but I'm just saying itong United Nations and industrialized countries are really hypocrites. Gusto nila, bayaran nila tayo. Or they supply us with hydro, solar. Mahal yan. Ngayon kung idinadamay nila na tayo, at sila naman ayaw maniwala, and yet, ito United Nations hypocrisy because they cannot enforce sanctions against those who are violating. And every every day, they're sprouting up so many coal-fired power plants. We only contribute, as I said, to the footprints, carbon footprints, so very little. And yet, we are a growing country. We need to industrialize. We need energy. Well, sabi ko, susunod tayo. But you know, even climate change. Climate change it does not have to be discussed. It is here. El Nino is the climate change. Kaya na yung mga lupa mo, baski saan saan, they're cracking up, even in Los Angeles. That's pollution. Your climate change is already there. So what, what we should do is to do remedial measures. Pero huwag lang tayo. Because we have noticed that those who are really into heavy industries, but the first world countries. That is my objection to them. Secretary Pure Martin. hypocrisy. Secretary Martin. Ano tayo tapos uh, uh, kamer on yaw yaw about and yet they cannot even suggest to their own government to stop it. Uh, Balayang sobrang <laughs>